welcome to CyberSafe. If you are new to this channel, please and please, please just click the subscribe button right now. Please and please click the subscribe button right now to get notified when we upload new content. And don't forget that notification bell. Just click on it, then click on all. It will help you get notified when we upload new content. So let me move straight to our new intro today. Moving straight to the topic of today. So this is my friend. He's always like he wants to enter Forex and all. He wants to try Forex. Forex is the in thing now. It's giving people money. People are gaining from it a whole lot. And I was like, hmm, Forex is good though, but it's if you see the good one that you can't just hurry up and rush and enter one forex trading this thing and then like me i don't really like it because it's kind of to me i feel it's something shaky you can't know if yes you are gaining when you put this money or if you are losing so i usually don't venture into it but people that know how to do this yeah really make money from it it's good so he was like he wants to do it it was just it was just i rushed into it i was like okay so how much do you plan on starting with it was like it was like he does not have enough money with him like he has about 180 there about i was like okay what's the least you can start with and he said he could start with um i think he said 200 but he wants to start with 300 that the two the person that the broker of the broker that was with him told him that if he starts with 300 it's going to um pay him more than him starting with 200,000. so i was like okay now that you don't have the 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 money what do you want to do i was like hey can i borrow him this this, this. And I was like, ah, but right now I don't have that kind of money to over hundred thousand to start to give you to start of this thing. Besides, it's kind of I don't know how it is. I was like, I should borrow. And I was like, I I don't have that right now. So somehow, somehow he sourced for the money and he got the balance. And he told me he got the balance. I was like, okay, good for you. And then he entered the forex trade. I could I he didn't tell me when he when he started it though. He told me he had gotten money. I was like, okay. He didn't tell me when he started it, so I, I was not aware of all this. So he got into the whole forex trading stuff. He started, and after a month, I was here up to a month, about three weeks there, about, he started telling stories. <gasps> I saw what I, I the, the way I knew, I saw um, a message on his WhatsApp status that these people, blah, 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 forex is a scam, blah, blah. And then I was like, I was surprised. I was like, what? Is this thing that, this thing I um, envisaged, is it that it now came to pass? So I, I messaged him, I was like, what's up now? This this one I saying Forex is a scammer. Is it now that, what's happening? What's happening? And he was like, he, he he has lost his money. I was like, which money? I didn't even want to. I was like, which money? Is it the money that you had, the 300,000 that you said you agreed to invest? I was like, yes. Then I started asking, asking him about the details. And I was telling him that he gave, he sent it to somebody that um, the person said within after after a month and all blah 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 the money is going to the way they did it you see the whole um for it looked genuine so he said he was seeing the whole thing his money was increasing in dollars because it was in dollars not in naira so he was saying the money was increasing from the 600 they put that it was um when they converted it to their units the way they did it was increasing and all that he was seeing it on the account then i was like okay what now happened now he said that he told him when he wants to withdraw, he should just click on something and then he'll be able to withdraw. That he has tried it for over weeks and then the thing he refused to withdraw. The money is just there. It was then that this guy just discovered, even when I now investigated that, I discovered that they actually just collected this guy's money and all he was operating was a demo account. Like the guy didn't know he was operating a demo, a demo account. A demo account is usually what those are new to Forex just learn with so that you see how um, either, when there's a peep, when there's all those things so that you know when it's rising and falling. It's just a demo account. It does not hurt. It's not your real money. It's just virtual money so that you see how the whole thing works. So I just noticed that when I went through, the, I started investigating with some of my team. I just noticed that it was a demo account this guy was, that this guy was seeing all through and he thought it was his own money. He was saying something about uh, was he almost a thousand dollars and so he was thinking it was his real money i was i w i didn't want to see i just felt for him because and then i was like the only thing that my only consideration was i didn't give him that money because i know how it must have, it must have felt for me because he was going to pay me back and then me i'll feel bad for him that okay he lost his money how will now Lana tell him to pay me back so but that's for that story let me now give you more gist on um, this whole forex um, stuff. Never really trust people directly to trade for you. If you want to go into forex, it's quite good. People are making money from it. What you need to do is learn it. 
but you, you can never even you can never learn forex like in depth to the you, you still need sometimes you know who they call brokers those people that stand in between the who but still you need to learn it you can't be opening you can't say you're a manager of a poultry and you don't know anything about poultry at all you're just there you just give someone okay i'm manager i'm Mr. manager people should handle my poultry uh, you employ people no you should have an idea of what is what uh, how to take care of the poultry how to take care of the feed how to give feed and all you need to have an idea so that when anything is going wrong you will know okay something is going wrong or something is not right so he basically didn't have any idea he just wanted to get the money quickly so i'm wanting to take note of it forex is not a get rich quick scheme it's not that it's not like betting where someone will tell you that um i can give you sure um sure i can just drop your money like sure you will get this by this time it's not that it's not those get rich forex is it's quite risky because if you're not um, if you're not um, careful you could you could just lose all your investments quickly okay so it's something that takes time and um really consistency and you need to be always be um online you need to be following the latest trend to know okay this thing is rising this thing is falling dollar is rising dollar is falling to know um when to when to okay either you buy or sell or all those things it's better for you to have an idea either you learn it online buy courses that help you or go for um, trainings that will help you learn this better but be careful not to just drop your money you will see people telling you sure sure this once you see sure that is sure please just know that that is that is one red flag to tell you that this is guy this thing is this thing na gas put your eyes for a moon a scam that kind of thing so you need to be careful the moment you do that or the moment you just rush and give the person your money maybe because let me even tell you a story because you might feel uh, uh, let me tell you a story there's another one this one i think it happened in nigeria they replicated what happened abroad so about 50 individuals there were about 15 this was our group the name was um i think forex abc lords i think that's what they call themselves i was not part of the investigative team but i saw this it was um it was released so there were about 50 in that group and what they did was that they planned they all planned together that they were all going to contribute about 100k to start up this business of this forex business which they create the website create everything and then their own is to scam people they scam people once people get to drop money once they get the money they share it amongst themselves so that's what these 15 individuals were doing they had a digital marketer someone that was marketing the fake forex site they had a um, graphic designer that was they had everything you could basically see in that group lots of individuals that were skilled they even had i think i don't know if they had hackers but they had all these skilled individuals inside that small group of 50 people and then they scammed a lot of people people dropped money i can't remember i'm trying to i can't recall the exact name but and so was forex something i can't remember i can't re really recall the name because i didn't plan on telling the story but i just remembered so these people they've scammed a whole lot of people before finally they were caught here in nigeria even in us this same thing happened but i don't know how these guys got to replicate it in nigeria but they were skilled individuals in from different fields that dropped hundred thousand each and then they kept scamming people in name of forex so forex is not a get rich quick scheme it's not like best i want you it's not that it's quite deeper than that you need to know what you are doing so i will show you the ways to but not in this video this video is already getting too long i will show you how to detect fake forex sites either there's a place there's a link where you put the um the site and it to tell you if it is registered because there are forex sites registered in united states that are genuine there are some that are registered in nigeria so you will know if it is real or not so that you don't just go and start putting your money into you see so many um links going around forex forex everybody is doing anybody wants to do forex to make please you need to be careful this is not the time to lose money this is really not the time to lose money so many people have lost a lot so many people are still losing even if, as i'm talking some people don't know about this and are still losing a lot, a lot. Don't just run to enter forex calm down first step understand what it's all about understand what it, it is not betting it's not as easy as betting as bet football betting all those it is not as easy as that understand the basics and the integrities of forex before entering it after that make sure you are dealing with a known most times those known forex um traders or trading um, sites are usually expensive to start because they require high money and all but good you have brokers that can help you just you pay small money and then with time there's a way they do that i don't want to go into those details 
but you have to make sure it is a legit one before you go into so know about forex very well in depth get trainings on it then you know, get a legit and genuine forex site that i can maybe i'll post um a link in the description for just one forex site that i'm sure of because there are a whole lot i can't vouch for anyone and i will not want to so please if you are part of those people if you are in any forex site um if forex trading site or if you have any please and um, please except you are genuinely sure that this is a legit forex um site or venture it's not venture please and um, please do not do not share it with do not share it with your friends because by the time you share this link and then you might have been gaining from it in a way and then you share it to this your friend that okay does not really know anything about forex and he just joins and imagine that was a fake um forex site and then your friend joins and drops his money and then he ends up losing it it's going to he's going to feel bad that you are the one that introduced this to him yourself you will feel bad that you introduced this to him not knowing that it was a scam so be careful not to just introduce something to someone except you are 100 percent so it's not 99 percent except you are 100 percent sure that this forex site is really a legit one okay and you have to let the person know that knowledge is power he needs to know more about forex before joining so i guess that's all we have for today so that we don't extend this video please stay safe if you have not subscribed click on the subscribe button right now and the like button also is just up there and most most importantly do share this video click on the share button share to your facebook your whatsapp your instagram wherever you want to share it let people know about this forex is good it gives you money but you need to be careful because you stick a whole lot in forex you don't stick um 50 000, uh, that's not for it you stake at least above 100 for the least ones and then imagine losing that amount of money okay so we need to be careful about that so thank you see you next time don't forget to subscribe and share